Hare Krishna. It's possibly my last video for 2016. We've made it through another year, pretty much. We're at that point. So today's date is December 21st. The 21st of December is also known as the winter solstice. This is the time of the year when the nights are very long and the days are very short. And what's so important about today in particular, first of all, let's take a little lesson in geography. You have two lines on the planet Earth that are very important in reference to the solstice. You have the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The Tropic of Capricorn is in the Southern Hemisphere below the equator, I believe 23 degrees below the equator. And the Tropic of Cancer is 23 degrees above the equator. As we know, the sun travels in a line around the belt of the earth called the equator or the middle of the equator. So at noon on the equator, the sun is almost directly overhead, give or take 23 degrees. On the first day of summer in the northern hemisphere, June 21st, the sun is almost directly overhead over the Tropic of Cancer. And the same phenomenon happens on December 21st in the Southern Hemisphere over the Tropic of Capricorn. So what we see is that the sun sways back and forth between Cancer and Capricorn. And that gives rise to your solstices. Very important time of the year. This is the hearkening, the beginning of the holiday season, so to speak. Why? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the Christian church. The Christian church prides themselves on purity to the message of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. However, if you look at the Christian tradition, they have a lot of mixing up of pagan and pre-Christianity and pre-Abrahamic religious traditions. For example, Christians claim to be worshipers of Christ, but actually they are worshipers of the sun. They go to church on the day of the what? Sun. With the exception of maybe the seven day Adventists, all Christians are following the Babylonian sun worshiping system. Sorry, people. If you want to be in tune with Christ, you got to worship on Saturday, which is the seventh day of the week, the Sabbath. But if you are worshiping on Sunday, you are following Rome and the Babylonian system. I'm not here to knock you, I'm just pointing out that your holidays themselves are based upon the sunrise and the sunfall. So a man like me, I get up pretty early in the morning, so I'm fortunate that I could witness the sunrise or the time of the sunrise every day. And you start to notice certain patterns, just like in Al-Islam, you have a call to prayer, Al-Adhan. And in the Adhan, it says, Hayya ala salat, Hayya ala al-falah. Life is on the worship and life is on the cultivation. That is saying that a farmer, a farmer is always more advanced than a priest because a priest can't live without a farmer, but a farmer can live without a priest. As a matter of fact, if you're a farmer, you're going to be familiar with the moon cycles as well, which is another important aspect of growing food. You have to know when to plant the seeds according to the moon, the position of the moon, and also the phase of the moon. You have to know when to uproot your crops, when to harvest according to the phases of the moon. So you have to watch the sky if you're a farmer. Once you watch the sky, it's a thing where as above, so below. You're in tune with nature. In Christianity, you have a very important holiday called Christmas, which is the birth of the Son of God. But what Christmas actually is, is the celebration of the rebirth of the sun because once again i get to watch the sun every day and every day the sun is rising one degree north one degree north one degree north one degree north until you get to june 21st where it hits its northern journey over the tropic of cancer After that day, the sun begins its southern journey and it starts marching south by one degree every day, one degree every day. But an interesting phenomenon happens at or around December 21st, this uh, winter solstice. 
what happens is that the sun seems to pause for a few days so it rises in the same exact spot from let's say December 21st for three days to December 24th it rises in the same spot then on December 25th it starts to move north again so the Christians had to give you a holiday to represent their Savior so they said let's give the birth of the Son of God on the day that the Son well actually when Christianity became a religion the Roman people did not want to let go of their ancient traditions and their holidays so they had to mix it in so they disguised it and they invented a holiday called Christmas which was really a pagan celebration of the rebirth of the Sun so once again Christian world find yourself find your compass find where you stand in relation to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because I'm sure he wouldn't be too proud if you were celebrating his birthday on the wrong day anyway but you're celebrating his birthday on the wrong day at least find out why so yes the origins of Christmas is pagan and it's dealing with Sun worship now at this time of year a lot of people are depressed I have a friend from DC was talking to her on the inbox earlier and she was telling me how you know she's going through a lot and she's real depressed right now well what happens at this time of year is there's a seasonal disorder where because there's less Sun the hormones in your body change now let's take a look at the body as above so below once again <clears throat> excuse me you have natural cycles rhythms waking and sleeping rhythms and hormones that are associated with those rhythms two important hormones are serotonin melatonin the pineal gland and the pituitary gland the eye of Ra which is located in the brain the hypothalamus all of these different organs secrete different substances that deal with the circadian rhythm that's inside your body just like if you go to bed at about 9 p.m. And if you do that for about four or five days in a row, you'll notice that after about seven hours, your body is going to wake you up roughly around 4, 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock, right on time for Brahma Mohurta, which is the time when your day is pregnant. Before your day gives birth at dawn, at sunrise, you can program your day with auspiciousness or negativity. It's up to you. So Brahma Mohurta, right before the sunrise. So... Right before the sun rises, those ultraviolet rays are kicking up in the sky. They activate that pineal gland and the pineal gland begins to release a waking hormone called serotonin. And then when the sun sets, the pineal gland combines with the pituitary once again and they start to release melatonin, that dark melanated hormone which causes a person to sleep well. Well, what happens now is that at this time of the year, because the days are getting shorter, you're getting less and less serotonin or the serotonin or the feel good hormone. That's one of the feel good hormones. So as you get less and less serotonin, it's easier to become depressed. So your depression is not necessarily natural at this time of year. It has nothing to do with your bills. It has nothing to do with the fact that you can't buy your kids some Jordans for Christmas. You're depressed because of the natural hormonal cycle in the body. So this winter solstice is a celebration in many in many societies actually they're going to have orgies tonight. A lot of witches are going to have orgies because they want their children to be born at a certain time of the year. I feel like I did this video before but maybe it was just a summer solstice video. But all I'm saying is that tonight there's going to be a lot of sex rituals going on on the planet Earth. And then 9 months later from this date your children should be born on a date that is acceptable for the deities of that system so that a certain spirit can come down into your child so even the pagans have their messiah you know what i'm saying so once again your body is based on circadian rhythms and so is the planet earth everything has a rhythm everything has a hormonal balance now what's going to happen now is that upon december 25th now there's an interesting phenomenon because the hormones of the planet earth dealing with serotonin and melatonin if we could use those symbolically and overlay them over the sun's journey this is what should be happening the days will begin to grow longer december 25th so your body should start releasing more serotonin over that time period all the way up till 
June 21st, then the serotonin levels will begin to drop from June 21st all the way back to December 21st. These are natural hormonal cycles, which is why people feel good in the summer and bad in the winter. Even if you're a winter person, you still feel some kind of drag because of the hormones that's going on in the universe. So remember serotonin, remember melatonin. I wanted to share something else with you and it's slipping my mind right now and I hate when that happens because it's actually a very important part of the video. So give me like, like one second to think, all right? Serotonin, melatonin, pagans, Christians, they're all the same. Gosh, I hate when this happens. And I don't want to make this such a short video because people wanted to hear from me. Oh, yeah, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Good. Good. 5,000 years ago, there was a battle to unite Upper and Lower Egypt. There was a battle at the same time in India called the Battle of Kuruksetra, which was a fratricidal war. Krishna had to have this war on the planet Earth so that the evil kings would not be able to have so many descendants that would overrun the planet and make it impossible for humans to live in the latter day times like these times of Kali Yuga. You see, it's already impossible to live in Kali Yuga. It's already getting rough. Watch what's going to happen in the new year. In the new year, remember Trump now, he put in his boy. He put in a bunch of rich people All of those poor hillbillies that voted for him Most of the people that voted for Trump Are uneducated anyway They're easily led They're easily, they're, they're easily led And that should tell you a lot about the voters of Trump So they thought that Trump was going to make America white again Trump ain't concerned about no white America He's concerned about money America There's only two classes right now Rich and poor There's no such thing as a middle class He put an oil man on his cabinet. You know what's gonna happen to the prices of oil once this man swears himself in? Maybe double, maybe triple. Don't quote me on it, but just watch what happens the day after election. I mean, the day after inauguration. Let's see what happens to the gas prices in your area. So Trump is setting this up for an oligarchy. And the last time rich Christians ran the planet, we had the dark ages. They was putting people in machines and tearing their body up. That's the, that's the mentality of a rich Christian. You know what I'm saying? They're all about slavery and total world dominance. It's just a, a demonic system. I don't care how you look at it, it's demonic. And I don't want the Christians to run the world. I don't want the Muslims to run the world either because they have some ancient ways of thinking and ancient ways of looking at things, whereas they were once a progressive system where their prophet Muhammad told them, seek knowledge, even if it's in China. Seek knowledge from the womb to the tomb. These people gave up the pursuit of knowledge. They don't educate their women no more. And if you look at countries where women are suppressed or oppressed, the economy is bad and everything is bad in that country. So wherever you have oppression of the woman, the female energy, you're gonna have a messed up system. And even in Christianity, you have oppression of the woman because they say father, son, and the Holy Ghost. They just totally took the mother out the picture. You know what I'm saying? Instead of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This mantra is actually addressing the feminine energy first. The female energy of God is always addressed first when you say Hare. That's the energy. That's the Hladini Shakti of the Lord. The internal pleasure potency. There's no pleasure in Christianity. There's only suffering because they took the female out. What is life without a female? Unless you're a monk. A highly developed being who has a sense of atmarama or self-satisfaction, self-joy, that internal joy, that real pure joy that can only come in conjunction with knowing the spirit soul and the super soul within. Unless you have that going, ain't no atmarama. You're in the world of duality. You're a conditioned being and you're going to seek out comfort in the opposite sex. So even God himself has a shakti. He has a female counterpart. If you look at all of the Hindu deities, they always got their female sitting on what side? Not the right side, the left side. The left side is the negative energy. Negative not meaning it's bad or it's um, demonic. Negative meaning there's an energy that pushes in life and there's an energy that pulls in life. So that pulling energy, that attractive energy, once again, is stemming from the internal Hladini Shakti potency. So 5,000 years ago, there was a battle raging right now. And how do we know that? Because in the ancient times, and even in these times, there's still people that's advanced like that. But in the ancient times, people could choose the moment of death. Now it is understood 
that when a person dies, I mentioned this in the video when I was talking about my mother's death. So we got to go back to 2012 videos. I think I made a video about death. And basically, the best time to pass on out of your body is in between December 21st and June 21st because that's when the sun is going on its northern course when the sun is going on the northern course of your planet and you leave your body naturally you will be pulled into the upper chakras of the universe but if you leave your body in between June 21st and December 21st then the lower chakras of the universe are open and more than likely you will either take rebirth or you'll even be born on a lower planetary system which is even worse see the thing about the lower planetary systems is like living on Atlantis and Lemuria Lemuria was a very advanced civilization and it was spiritually based Atlantis was a very advanced civilization but it was materially based so I can go right now I can get on an airplane or a Vimana I could go to the lower planetary systems as a matter of fact those underworld systems that are below the equator of the universe are very a lot of them are very very opulent materially but we have to remember one thing just because a person is materially opulent it does not mean that they are in tune with the lord or the good graces of the lord as a matter of fact generally materially opulent beings are forgetful of the lord if you're very beautiful generally you rely on your beauty to get you through life and if you're very rich you rely on your wealth to get you through life and nobody has time for krishna until they're in trouble and that's when they turn to the lord so it's not always such a blessing to be beautiful or rich or highly educated because you have a sense that you the world owes you something and the world owes none of us nothing why because you came in this world butt naked and when they put you in that morgue you're going to be butt naked again you didn't come here with nothing so you have nothing to fret about losing and you have nothing to fret about gaining because you ain't leaving this world with nothing nothing material anyway so this battle that was raging five thousand years ago there was a man named Grandfather Bhishma, Grandsire Bhishma, very, very powerful being. And he was a yogi in a sense. He could choose his moment of death. So anyway, he got shot up with a whole bunch of arrows and he laid on a bed of arrows for X amount of days. And after a while, he's laying there on this bed of arrows and he's like, Krishna, why am I still alive? Why am I still suffering? Krishna was explaining to him why he was suffering was because of what happened when mother earth in the form of draupadi was being assaulted by the kings of the earth you virtually could say they raped her they was trying to strip her naked so who knows what was going to happen next but they was assaulting mother earth in the form of draupadi and bhishma didn't even try to help so krishna was like all right that's his karma when he needs help he's just going to be messed up with no one to help him huh. so bhishma laid there and also krishna told him and he told his other associates, he was like, listen, Bhishma is going to die, but he's not going to die right now because it's not auspicious for anyone to die while the sun is in its southern course. So Bhishma had to wait till the sun went to its northern course and then he gave up his body. In order for the sun to go to its northern course, and we know the battle of Mahabharat was about 18 days long, so he had to leave his body sometime after December 21st and possibly after December 25th when the sun began to rise again. So this was the story of Bhishma. So that's how we know that the battle of Bhagavad Gita was a holiday battle. This great world war 5,000 years ago in which 1 billion soldiers were killed took place around Christmas time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of auspiciousness for this winter solstice. I wish everybody the best. Do your studies of the geography. The only continent on the planet Earth that is fully within the Capricorn line and the Cancer line is the continent of Africa. So it's a misnomer when they call it the dark continent. The only reason the Europeans call it the dark continent is because they didn't know what the hell was going on in Africa. Okay? And that's the truth. Nobody knows what's going on in Africa unless the Africans tell them. And that's why they call it the dark continent. But factually, the sun never leaves Mother Africa. The sun is always either over the Tropic of Cancer or the Tropic of Capricorn or it's over the equator. And Africa is dead smack in the middle of all of them. Matter of fact, as the resource crunch advances and there's less and less things on the planet Earth that we need to survive, 
it is found out that Africa has 60% of the world's unused land. So if you want to buy some land, start looking at purchasing land in Africa. There's plenty, plenty, plenty space. And don't worry about, is the land arable? Can it grow stuff? It's the most fertile continent. Matter of fact, continent, Congo is like one of the richest places on the planet Earth. And the people are the poorest because they let outsiders come in and do their thing. Let me keep it 100 with y'all, right? And this is no hate to no particular racial group. But I judge people by how they act. If I call you a devil, it's not because I've been influenced by anybody's doctrine or theology. The reason I would call a man a devil is if he acts like a devil. And there is no land that the Europeans have visited peacefully. They have visited every continent on this planet Earth in the name of war and conquest, lust and greed. There is no missionary who did not kill people to convert them to their religion. So this is what the Europeans have done as they visited different parts of the planet Earth. So if anybody calls a European the devil, it's not based on hate. It's just based upon they're doing devilish things on the planet Earth. I don't know how I got sidetracked into that subject, but it was necessary. It was necessary to say. So this continent of Africa, the sun never sets on you, Mother Africa. You're always there in the sun, and it's the last refuge of the human family. That's why the Chinese are lining themselves up right now to get into Africa. And speaking of Africa, there are some symbols, some Akan symbols from the Akan tribe of Ghana, A-K-A-N, and also Andinkra symbols. A, N is in Nancy, D, I, N is in Nancy, K, R, A, An, Ding, Kra. Look up these symbols. Some of the symbols are called Jie, Nyame, or Gai, Nyame. And that's the supremacy of God, or without God, there is nothing. You have the Sankofa symbol. You have so many different symbols. Adaptability is another one of the symbols. And so you're looking at it and you're like, yo, this is just African art. You know, them Africans ain't had nothing to do. They was just swinging from trees, eating bananas, and they didn't have nothing better to do, so they started drawing pictures. But then something funny happened recently with this Large Hadron Collider from CERN Labs in Switzerland. So the scientists were looking very, very close at these quantum particles that they discovered in their atom smasher. And one of the scientists looked close enough and he said, wait a minute. He looked at the quarks and the nuance and the smallest particles that make up this material reality and found out something interesting. You see those African Akan symbols and those symbols from Ghana that we just thought was African traditional art? Each one of those symbols interlocks with each other and goes into the heart of the smallest particles of the universe. Yes, if you look at the smallest particles in the universe, they have a con symbols. Who would have thought that these so-called backwards Africans who don't have no connection to divinity, of course, because, you know, Africans or black people just can't be connected to God. There's something wrong with us and there's no divinity in us and Krishna just never came to Africa. You know, this is, if, they, if you let them tell it and only the bad people on the planet Earth came from black people if if you let them tell it you know what I'm saying but I ain't gonna let them tell it I'm here to tell the story for my people as well as the rest of the people of the planet earth and, and now I know what, what I was about to say but check it right so these Africans are onto something. They know something. We have to look at the ancient African wisdom. Me, for six years now, I've been looking at the African wisdom and comparing it to the Indian wisdom, and I see that it's the same system. And that's why I be going so hard talking about Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. It's not about converting you to no religion. I'm not interested in religion or joining nobody's religion or following nobody like a cult fanatic. But I can see when there's some a road heading to the divine. And I just want to say, on behalf of the people of the planet Earth, that you are effed. If you don't get your act together, you are effed and I will vote against you. What do I mean by that? Well, if I was an intelligent life form on another planet and I'm seeing these humans aim their rocket ships and their astronauts to come to my planet and then I go read your newspaper or I go look at your election results or I go look at how y'all treat each other on this planet Earth, you think I'm going to let you human beings come to my planet? Man, I'll send a nuclear bomb and blow this planet right in two.
So you humans be careful with your ambitiousness because you're trying to go to other planets and you ain't even got your act together on this planet. You don't even know how to treat other human beings like human beings. You don't know how to give out a good education. You don't know how to stop this pollution that's destroying the food chain from the bottom up. You don't know how to do anything good for yourselves without good Vedic information or good guidance from the ancestors, whether from Africa or India. You ain't doing it right. These politicians are dumb. I keep telling y'all in every video, these politicians are stupid. And I will work for Trump. I will work. Yeah, yeah. Call me a cool, call me a sellout. If that man want to give me a salary to be his advisor, I will be his advisor. But the difference is, I ain't kissing no butt. And I don't belong to no secret society, is no organization. I'm going to give him the truth. And I'm going to tell him the right thing to do. My name ain't Kanye. And I ain't going to no mental hospital and coming out with blonde hair. Kanye got this thing in his head where it, it says, oh man, Kanye, you're having mad problems in your life. What's the solution? And then it, it looks at him, the thing in his head says, act more stupid. That's Kanye's approach to everything, act more stupid. You sitting down with a dude who had, <laughs> yo, listen, man, I don't even care, man. Y'all deal with your own problems. But you humans need to stay on earth till you get your act together. Don't take that devilish stuff, that European mentality to other planets, because it's no bueno. It's no bueno what the Europeans did on this planet. He's never arrived on the shores of any continent peacefully. Please challenge me. Challenge me. Challenge me. I love y'all like I love everybody else, but y'all got to get off y'all BS. Y'all don't have much time left, and I've been warning y'all for six years that your time is coming, and now your time is really here. Y'all got to chill. Y'all got to repent, and y'all got to turn to Krishna. I don't care if I sound like a Christian, a Bible thumping. I don't care. I don't got to prove nothing to nobody. Krishna already has a relationship with me and I have a relationship with him. Krishna has a relationship with every living entity unless you want to act like a devil. He'll still guide you, but he's going to guide you into more devilishment. That's what the Quran says. If you want Allah, he will bring you closer. And if you want to go far from Allah, he will send you further, farther away. But the sunlight, the moonlight, all of these resources that's distributed around the planet and the universe, they're equally available to all because Krishna says... I am equally available to all. I'm fair to everybody, but I got a special place in my heart for my devotees. That's what Krishna says. So he's inclined, he's favorably inclined towards all of his devotees, okay? <clears throat> Please, Europeans, get your act together. Don't try to go to no other planet and get us blown up on the earth because all we're trying to do is make a living, take care of our families, and serve our Lord. You know what I'm saying? We have a mentality of service to the Lord. That's why we're known as soul people because Krishna's a soul man. He likes to dance and sing and enjoy. Well, who else likes to dance and sing and enjoy on this planet? Black people, soul people. And who likes to control? Who likes to manipulate? Europeans. So y'all got to really take a moment out and look at yourselves and get your act together. I can't let y'all go to other planets in this state. I will blow this planet up before I let y'all go to another planet and spread that nonsense that y'all been doing on this planet ever since you've been walking upright. Straight cheese. I'm serious. I'm, I speak from the heart. You know how I get down. You know how I rock. All right? So to my European brothers and sisters out there, you still got a little time left to save your butts. And for the black people out there, if you don't want to turn to Krishna, and if you want to be an atheist, a covered atheist, and you call yourself a conscious Negro, and you so goddamn conscious that you can't believe in God, then you can suffer the same fate that's about to fall the Western world. I don't care. You got to get what you want. Krishna give you what you want. If you want foolishness, Krishna will give you foolishness. And if you want to be liberated, Krishna will liberate it. So listen. This is a 30 minute video just about and I wish everybody a happy holiday, happy new year, happy winter solstice, understand the cycles and don't let nobody fool you in the name of religion and tell you that some little Christian Christ being was born on this day or in this holiday season. This is all about sun worship. Surya Vamsaki Jai Chandra Vamsaki Jai All glories to the assembled devotees. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutali Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Samin Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pasjatya Deshatarine Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Get your act together people of earth Hare Bo